What's going on guys, T-Mart here, and the most recent patch for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, the EM-1 Direct Energy Weapon received a major, major, major buff. And now, honestly, I think it's one of the best, if not the best gun in the game. It's absolutely insane how good this thing is now. So, uh, first and foremost, this patch is not out on the next-gen consoles yet. The only platforms it's out for are 360 and PS3. So if you're on Xbox One, PS4, or PC, you don't have this yet, but obviously it is on the way. And this thing has received a major damage buff. I'm assuming a range buff as well. I haven't really tested it out, but instantly picking up the weapon. And in this gameplay, you guys will see how much quicker it kills people now. Like It's absolutely insane, uh, almost to the point that it's kind of nearing that overpowered mark. I'm not quite sure. I'm interested to see, you know, how it all works out with all the other weapon balances and stuff. But, you know, on the 360 when I was playing here, some of the games I was getting into, there were like, you know, six people in a lobby, like literally half the lobby using this weapon. It's almost like you felt like you were at a rave with all the flashing lights and lasers going everywhere and stuff. And the variants of this weapon have different colors. So some people have red and blue and green and yellow. It's just, it's crazy. But uh, yeah, this weapon is absolutely nuts. So. Uh, what makes it so good? Well, you know, obviously with the damage buff, the damage is now pretty good. Like, the, the time to kill is not quite as good as some of the ARs, but it's still really competitive. Like, it's right up there with them. You can still win gunfights pretty easily with it. And then on top of it, there's no need to reload, and you never run out of ammo. So, yes, sometimes there is kind of like a cooldown thing. Like, if you hold the trigger for too long, it'll overheat, and then there's like, you know, three seconds where you can't shoot. But if you're smart about it, and you don't, you know, continuously hold the trigger down, you're never going to run into that problem. So, really, you never have to reload, and you never run out of ammo. Also, the recoil when you're aiming down sights is there... But it's very slow and predictable. Like, it doesn't really bounce around. Like, an AR, when you're firing, it bounces around with every shot that shoots out of the weapon and kind of, you know, goes up, down, left, right, things like that. This weapon, it kind of, like, moves in one direction very slowly because it's a continuous beam of energy. It doesn't bounce. It just kind of slowly moves. So it's very easy to compensate for. Uh, next up, the spectacular hip fire spread. This thing has the best hip fire spread out of all the weapons in the game. When you're standing still with it, the four crosshairs in the middle of your screen are pretty much touching. That's how exactly it is so I mean this thing is already good at range and oftentimes it'll beat our ARs at those medium to long range distances and then with this really good hip fire up close you can just hip fire and a lot of times it'll beat out SMGs as well where it's just a, it's a really really good weapon in pretty much any situation now and then finally, the last good thing is it does kind of have like a, a built-in red dot-esque, you know, type sight. Like it's not necessarily a red dot. It does block your view a little bit, but it's not nearly as bad as some of the other iron sights in this game. Like it, it's a, a pretty good little sight there. It's built into the weapon, so you can save those attachment slots for, uh, for some other type of attachment. Like the grip is really, really good in this thing. So uh, yeah, those are the good things. Now, uh, is it like super crazily overpowered with no bad things? No, it, it's not like the bell. Like, I wouldn't say it's like the bow that's like head and shoulders above every other guy. Gun, but uh, there are some bad things about it. Uh, first of all, you can't silence it, which is a pretty big deal. And then also, the beam kind of tells everybody exactly where you're at. Like, obviously, the person you're shooting at is probably going to know where you are. But when teammates of his see that beam flying across the sky, they can just follow it right back to the tip of your gun, which lets them know exactly where you are. So uh, that's obviously a bad thing. It's kind of hard to be stealthy and, and careful with this weapon. Then also, the movement time is absolutely atrocious because it's a heavy weapon, so you move at 80% of the normal speed it's awful i hate it i hate it hate it hate it moving that slow so uh, if you want to be aggressive with this thing when you're playing you've got to constantly be switching weapons to be able to you know switch to your pistol your attack knife to be able to run quicker as well as you know most of the time i run lightweight on it that's kind of like a, a default perk for this class because it's so slow so uh, yeah it's got kind of some some negatives there but uh, yeah overall the em1 it's definitely very, very good. Is it overpowered? I'm not quite sure yet, but it's, it's, it's like, I think it's the best gun in the game at this point. Like, I'm being honest with you guys. So, uh, yeah, I'm interested to see how it comes over to the next-gen consoles. I'm not sure if it's going to come over the exact way it is now or if they might, you know, kind of tweak it before this patch comes out uh, for next-gen. But so we'll have to wait and find out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Check out these two videos on the screen if you haven't seen them yet. Peace out, guys.